It's one thing to use cuts for your comedy, but to not even use clever cuts, your shit's not even funny. I'm not making this video to respond to this chick. She doesn't deserve a response in the first place. I'm making this video because no matter where I saw this concept, this story, or this video posted, I saw far too many people sympathizing with the concept of what she was saying. But some of them were still saying that part of what she was saying was true. And that's why I made this video. Okay, first of all, there's so many aspects. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so first of all, not only is this perspective of weight and obesity a very wrong perspective, but it's actually incredibly hurtful. So this chick says that this is about people's health, that she's just talking about something that people need to hear because they're making everyone suffer around them, including themselves. What's ironic about this entire video is that she begins it with a joke about zombies, when her entire argument is a representation of the unoriginal thought that comes from doing whatever the television tells you. Are obese people really that much more unhealthy than a lot of the people that are not suffering from cellulite? In reality, obesity is not equivalent to a lack of health the way that we make it. We're speaking as if skinny people are healthier. Fat is not even perfectly indicative of a lack of health the way we think about it. It's not even that black and white. Having diabetes doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be fat. The way fat is distributed, the way your entire body works, including the way fat is distributed, including how much fat is burnt versus how much fat is created and stored and held onto, all of this is controlled by hormones. You know what can control hormones? Anything. The way you eat, your attitude, how much stress you have, how much sleep you get, everything around you is affecting your hormones and your hormones are what choose what your body looks like. Whether you have fat distributed in some places versus others, whether your body is growing or whether your body is shriveling up. It, hormones control everything, but we don't know shit about our own health, so then we act like assholes and make other people feel bad about not looking like models. This is not about being healthy. This is about what we find unattractive and what this unfunny idiot thinks is clever is regurgitating the same crap that media tells you about yourself. That you're supposed to look a certain way, that you're supposed to have certain proportions, that your skin should be this certain tone. It's all bullshit, including your perspective of what is healthy and what is not healthy. Because while you call obese people unhealthy, people on steroids, anorexic individuals and people with breast and butt implants are being praised as if they're some pinnacle of healthiness and happiness. No, all of these people are just sad. Your body is like the most advanced organic machinery that you could possibly imagine. And that's without even discussing sentience. That's without even discussing what it means to be self-aware and how we differ from animals and if souls exist because that is some galactic technology that you can't even wrap your mind around. But no, this chick is going to talk about who is moral based on the standard of cellulite. You think because your ass is skinny, you work harder? This chick is addicted to Starbucks. Probably has Candida. Yeah, Google Candida. Most North Americans suffer from this thing that causes us more stress, causes our thyroid and our hormones to fluctuate like crazy. If you researched for two seconds the real cause of obesity, you would find out pretty quickly it's our government. The farm bill, I'll put it in the description below. So when fools like this Jenna Marbles knockoff claim that their comedy or their crusade even is in the name of health, instead of allowing children to drive the car of consciousness, let's instead use the minute amount of critical thinking that is required to realize that this is not about laziness. This is about the general state of disarray that the North American culture today exists in. We are too stressed. We don't sleep enough. 
we are not happy. Depression is a huge issue and it's in tons of our research studies. And above all of it, our government subsidizes the foods that make us fatter and are encouraging things like candida, like parasites that change your hormones so that you crave more of that stuff that feeds the candida and the parasites instead of you. There is a perfect metaphor for all of this in the way that we eat. When you wake up every morning, how many of you crave food that is the most nutritious, vitamin-rich concept you could possibly imagine putting inside your body? Most people, especially in North America, are instead thinking about comfort foods. Foods that are devoid of nourishment are mostly composed of enriched foods, sugars, saturated fats, basically non-edible crap. You are eating for your tongue not your body. You're really eating for some emotional need that is chemically tied to your hormones once again. You are not eating to feed yourself. You are eating to comfort yourself. So why do we think that when we look at people and judge how they physically look that we're really thinking about health? No, you're thinking about what feels good. You're thinking about what it feels good to look at. But let's thank this fool for sacrificing all hope of true public respect for the sake of offering us a fantastic learning opportunity. None of this is about what is healthy or not healthy. All of this is about meeting the standards of society's perspective of beauty. All concepts and standards of beauty are culturally constructed. It's messed up that we're making some people feel less beautiful just because of our culture's standards of beauty, but now we're making some people feel less healthy because of those standards, those cultural concepts that actually have nothing to do with biology whatsoever. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please let me know by clicking the like button below. Also, if you would like to see more videos like this or would like to support this channel, please subscribe. It would mean a ton to me. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, quick announcement, my new videos will officially be uploaded every single Saturday. So, getting you guys Friday night.